Have you seen ads for Founders Card and are curious about the offering and its benefits? Well, in this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the card, including what's been available to me during a free trial. Hey everyone, this is Kyle from Money at 30, and on this channel we look at personal finance from a millennial perspective, including premium card reviews like this one. For the longest time, I'd get Instagram and Facebook ads served to me for something called Founders Card. Intrigued, I eventually went to their website, but was surprised to discover that, in order to look at the actual list of benefits, you needed to provide an email address. I soon learned why that was, as I began to receive regular solicitations from Founders Card before eventually receiving a free trial. So, now that I've had a bit better look at Founders Card, what does it have to offer? Let's take a look at a few things to know. The first thing to know about Founders Card is that it's not a credit card, and you don't actually need to be a founder in order to apply for it. Given Founders Card's resemblance to the likes of the American Express Platinum Card or Chase Sapphire Reserve, you might assume that it too is a credit card. However, that's not the case. Instead, it's simply a membership that includes a number of discounts and other perks. Also, despite the name, the card is open to a greater swath of people than just quote-unquote founders. While it's not exactly clear from the website who qualifies, it doesn't seem as though they're terribly picky. That said, as you'll see, the benefits are more likely to appeal to those who are self-employed, have a small business, and the like. Next, let's discuss the two levels of Founders Card and the stated price points for each. Just as it's difficult to see the list of perks the Founders Card offers before providing an email, it's also not exactly easy to find the current pricing for the card. On that note, in the time since I initially provided my email to the company, I've received offers to become a member at a number of different promotional price points. However, to give you an idea of the going rate, I'll share what it currently shows as full price for me, which is $595 per year for Founders Card or $995 a year for Founders Card Elite. As for the differences between the two, Elite ups the amount of Stripe fee-free payment processing members get, takes status at Avis and Hertz up a level, includes a complimentary companion standard membership, and more. That last perk may be among the best from what I've seen, but it's a pretty steep upgrade overall. But depending on your business needs, perhaps it will make sense. As I mentioned, after months of getting emails and offers from Founders Card, I eventually signed up for a free trial, although several of the key benefits are disabled during this intro period. While the free trial that was issued to me lets me get a better look at some of Founders Card's perks, it also excludes some of the most appealing offers. For example, several of the status benefits such as Caesars, Virgin Atlantic, and others are blocked out, as are discounts for the likes of John Varvatos, AT&T, and others. Although I understand why this is necessary, it does make it harder to determine whether the card is actually worth it. On a related note, while the list of member offers looks endlessly long, you may notice that the site begins listing individual hotel properties that are already covered by the top line benefits. In any case, if you do want to unlock the full suite of perks during your trial, you may be able to upgrade at a special rate. Another potential way of getting value from the Founders Card is with their FC Points program. As a Founders Card member, you can accrue points that can be redeemed for additional rewards. For example, you can earn FC Points for successfully referring others, writing reviews of certain benefits, adding a companion membership, and more. Then, points can be used for Amazon gift cards, lounge memberships, and even your Founders Card membership fee. With redemption starting at 50,000 points, you'll likely need to refer at least two people in order to earn a reward, but it could be valuable if you do. Finally, another aspect of Founders Card that I thought was interesting is their Chrome browser extension, which helps alert you when some of your member perks could be of use. When you install the Founders Card browser extension and land on a website with a supportive benefit, a pop-up will inform you of your applicable perk. This is quite similar to Rakuten or other services and works pretty well for what it is. Therefore, if you do end up becoming a member, I'd recommend giving this added tool a try. Personally, while it's hard to say for sure how much value I'd ultimately get from the Founders Card, I don't really see the math working out for me in terms of covering the annual fee. However, I have to believe that it might make more sense for some others. To be sure, there are some attractive benefits to be found with Founders Card, but true to its name, they are more business focused than some individuals might expect. As a result, I wouldn't necessarily recommend this as an alternative to premium credit cards like the Amex Platinum or Chase Sapphire Reserve. That said, if you are an entrepreneur, freelancer, or otherwise self-employed person, perhaps you'll find more value in some of the Founders Card perks than I did. Hopefully this gives you a better idea about what Founders Card is all about, but for more on the offering, I'll have a link to my full overview in the description box down below. Also, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe because we have new videos every week. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time here on Money at 30.